Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to do a comparison versus test between the positive grid bias FX. We'll put that on the left channel and we'll do the positive grid spark 40 on the right channel. And to make it a fair test, I'm going to use uh, a more of a jazz sound on the acoustic setting. I'm going to use the fat acoustic on the bias FX. And I'm not going to add any equalization. I'm not going to add any compressor on top because generally that's what you would do if you had this for a studio track. You'd use this for your basic groundwork and then throw on top of it anywhere from one to multiple effects. So we're going to be using the Fat Acoustic V2 with the acoustic simulator. There is delay and gate on it. Just as it would come, I just took the drive off. The mod was already off. Oh, two, three, four. Maybe we'll start with the metronome playing. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's silly. Is that on the gray? No.
All right, well, that was a lot of fun. And much to my surprise, the Spark 40 sounded very, very good. I think that the Bias FX on the left channel had a little more richer tone to it, uh, especially in the mid-range all the way through the treble. But I was surprised how good the Spark 40 on the right-hand side had a very full, solid body to it. And the highs and the mid-range on it, I could easily fix with a DAW uh, going into your DAW, and you could add some EQ. There's so many different EQs that are in there. This allows my TV signal. Oh, Must have a uh, screen server on that. As you can see, I have fun writing on my TV. Not to change the subject, but I do have a cool pen that allows me to write on the television. I thought that was very cool. So getting back to the Spark 40 was very rich, and I think that any tone I could equal to the bias by going in and you could add chorus to it, you could add some compression, that adds a lot to it. Um, it seems like with the bias effects, all that has already been done before they get to it. So it is going to be a little bit less work, but that's only using the acoustic mode on the Spark 40 versus the fat acoustic 2 on the Bias FX. Maybe compared to one of the other sounds, it's going to be a little more closer. It's hard to say. If anybody wants me to run through all the five different sounds and compare them, I would be happy to do that. Uh, but as we speak right now, I've only tried the one effect, the Bias FX Fat Acoustic 2 V2. I like it. Sounds really good. So that could be why it sounds better than the Spark. I'm only using one of the effects. Unfortunately, the Bias FX is not trying to emulate the Spark 40, so there's no sort of, say, acoustic setting that says Acoustic Spark 40. So kind of trying to juggle, you know, the different tones on there. But I'm super happy with the results. I thought the Spark 40 held its own. Um, listening to other recordings that are out there with acoustics and guitars, I think the Spark 40 is fabulous. Great sounding when you put it into a DAW and the, you do your recording. I mean, you can just get some rich full deep tones on it especially when you go in like I said and do your after after effects on it but as far as the bias effects that's fantastic too side by side I'll have to say that the bias effects is a clear winner just a little bit more richer a little more solid tone let me know what you guys think in the comments below peace out Thanks for watching.